today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to be sh showing you how to beat Cover 4 Drop in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, my channel focuses on Madden 21 tips and tricks. Basically what we try to do is we try to give you tactics and tools that make you a more effective Madden player um, in Madden 21. And so if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to click subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your notifications, but I would also encourage you to join our community Discord. Now, Discord is an online community platform that allows me to be able to connect with my subscribers in a unique way. Basically, what it boils down to is it allows us to chat and talk Madden 24-7. So if you want to talk Madden with me or if you want to talk Madden with other people from my community, like-minded Madden players, um, there's a lot of really good players over in our Discord. So I'd highly encourage you to join the Discord and start talking some Madden in the Discord with the community. All right, guys. So spread. Um, I'm in the Arizona Cardinals playbook now. For those of you that don't know, uh, I have a full ebook out on the Arizona Cardinals air raid offense. All right, it's an air raid ebook. Uh, it's really based around a lot of the popular principles that air raid, um, the air raid offense in real life uses, like mesh post, uh, mesh corner, uh, Y cross, uh, 95 Y cross, uh, six four verticals, all those things. So if you're interested in that ebook, it's over 125 pages long. It comes with my full um, three through five, uh, and my full, uh, 46 defensive ebook, as well as my full Arizona ebook. And that link is in the description. The play we're going to be talking about today is a concept that you can use out of the spread Y slot and out of it, it's two concepts in particular. The first one is out of the spread Y slot. And we're going to be talking about the Z shallow play. The second one is out of the spread Y flex. We're going to talk about the H shallow cross. And as you can see here, this is a very good concept. You see it's what's called a Mills concept or a Portland concept. Um, the Mills concept, I actually think, works a little bit better um, than, than the uh, Portland concept in this year's game for beating cover four. Uh, and basically, let me, go, let me come over here real quick and show you what I mean by that. So what is a Portland concept versus what is a Mills concept? So a Portland concept, as you can see here, Receivers run a post route and a dig route from opposite sides of the field. So one receiver on the right is going to run a dig. The other side is going to run a post. So something like this play here from X post, something like 689 hook is another good example. But the Mills concept is an inside receiver runs a dig and the outside receiver runs a deep post route. As you can see, this Mills concept is very popular. You can get it out of multiple different plays and multiple different uh, formations within this playbook. Now, this is a very simple, very, very simple but a very, very effective way for you to beat the cover four defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and dime 146, and I'm going to come out in the cover four drop. Now, a lot of you guys, um, and, and I actually think cover four drop is going to rise in some popularity. It's a really good uh, base defense against a lot of what people are running this year, like crossing routes, corner routes, even post routes it does okay against, um, unless you have the in route. You have to have an in route. If you don't have an in route on your play, this is not going to work properly. You have to have the dig. The dig is really what makes everything happen. So we're going to go to Z shallow here. And what you're going to notice is Devontae Adams is going to be able to torch cover four drop right over the top. You'll see right there, once he's even, he's leaving. And I'm just going to pass lead that up and to the right. And as you can see, he's going to get over the top of the cover four defense uh, with that Z shallow play. The next play I wanted to show you was H shallow cross. So what's cool about this is this looks exactly like the, um, it looks exactly like Z shallow but it's coming from a different post route. It's a, it's a different post route on this other side of the field. Now, what I want to do on the left side is I just want to make sure this is cleared out. So I'm going to put Devontae Adams on a curl route, um, and I have that low ball opportunity with Devontae Adams and uh, Jones. This is going to turn into a curl flat concept. What you'll see here is this route to uh, circle. Once he passes that safety, you see he's going to get over the top of the safety, and he's going to get a one-play touchdown against cover four drop. So that's how you beat cover four drop in Madden 21. And you'll notice that I can actually do this from other, another play. PA read, as you can see with PA read, it's gonna have a post route to Devontae Adams. You see he's on that nice post route right there. Um, and all I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put triangle on a smart route and in route. So I'm gonna put him on an in route and I'm gonna smart route the route, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna block my running back and I'm gonna run the play just like this. And what you'll notice is you're gonna get the same, um, you're gonna get the same, same thing that's gonna happen. Um, now, the thing that is really important is you have to have a little bit of time in the pocket for this to work. So if they're blitzing you heavy out of cover four, what that's going to mean is oftentimes the underneath coverage is not going to be there. Um, with the way the game is working in practice mode, for whatever reason, the game allows super shedding um, guys. 
So we're going to just basically back that defensive line off. And essentially all I'm doing is putting that smart route and in route on the play. And you'll see that deep post route, hard right pass lead, click on, and you're going to get that over the, over the shoulder catch. Now, my personal opinion, these post routes actually work a little bit better when you smart route them. And I did a video on that on my YouTube channel uh, about smart routing post routes and the importance of that. But this is going to help a little bit with the um, with the with the way the safeties are going to play this. But again, you're just going to step up in the pocket here, get your good time in the pocket, and you'll see that that in route is going to hold him, and you're just going to pass it over the top. And you see there, it's a click on one play touchdown against Cover Four. So that's kind of a concept that is really going to be effective for beating the Cover Four. Now, one little thing that you can do off of this is you can actually kind of get the best of both worlds because what you can do um, is you can call uh, you could call your play, you know, maybe it's uh, maybe it's Z shallow, right? You can call this play. And I could take uh, Robert Tunyon and I could just put him on a slant pattern. And what you'll notice about the slant pattern is this is going to help. It's going to beat it by even more because it's going to hold those safeties really well on both sides. And once again, you're going to be able to beat cover four over the top for a one play touchdown. The trick of the trade is to use the in route in combination with the post route. That's the bottom line. Um, now, what you'll notice here really quickly is if I were to do something like that from eight shallow cross and I were to take Devonte Adams and put him on a dig route and maybe run something like this right here. Like this is a concept that I actually really would legitimately run in a game. Um, what you'll see here on this eight shallow cross is. This is, it's do, it does work. There's a window to throw this, but, and as you can see, the block sheds that you get from practice mode are just insane. Um, so what I want to do is just show you the route, uh, the route combination here. Now, again, you're, you know, if they blitz you, you're going to have the underneath stuff, you know, right there for the taking. But um, what I just want to show you here is, again, they're in cover four drop. I mean, I just want you to watch that circle receiver you see how they can get back on him a little bit better um, this is when you use the in route from the left side as opposed to from the um, the play side so in my opinion this year it's a little bit better of a concept as a general rule to run your in route if you're running a mills concept and you're trying to beat cover four to run the in route from the same side that you're running your post route and uh, you're going to find a lot more uh, a lot more success against any cover four um, that you try to beat but as you can see right there get right over the top and that time we uh, that time we didn't smart route the post that's why it's so important to smart route those post routes if you don't smart route them um, they don't get enough time to be able to run over that safety and if they have a good safety in the back end uh, they're going to be able to um, they're going to be able to, to close on that pretty well let me just show you uh, let me just show you this this last one here eight shell across again i'm just running the in route from the play side Hard left pass lead, click on, and as you can see, you're going to get that nice rack catch right in behind the safety for a one-play touchdown. So that's how to beat cover four drop. I think you're going to see a lot of people go into cover four drop this year. Um, as the game progresses, what people are going to find is that the cover four defense does a really good job at stopping a lot of what people like to do, um, you know, basically dropping eight, you know, putting in cover four, and just kind of forcing people to bend but don't break. Well, this route combination right here is a really really good option to go to um, if you're running uh, a cover four if, if you're if you're facing uh, a cover four defense now if you're watching this video and you would like to get more exclusive tips maybe a little bit higher level tips i have really really good tips for my text message members and i haven't talked about this much on this video yet but what my text message membership is is it's basically a free membership literally all you have to do to sign up is just pull your cell phone out and shoot me a text message my number is 812-216 three six four four the number is also in the top left hand corner of your screen and it's also in the description of this video but just shoot me a text message you can ask me a madden question or you could just let me know that you want to get our text message uh, videos um, or just say what's up or whatever but shoot me a text message and what i'll do is i'll send you our text message videos we have over six i think we have six videos in the vault right now um, so you'll get all six of those upon texting me and then what happens is every single week I release a new one. And most of these videos are longer in form. They're about 45 minutes to an hour long. We have a over an hour gun bunch guide in our text message membership, um, we have, which is which uh, some people have told me is better than even gun bunch ebooks that they've purchased um, throughout the course of this year. We also have uh, we also have guides on the Big Nickel over G, uh, the Minnesota Vikings single back trio, as well as some of the stuff from our air raid offense. If you wanted to kind of get a sample. Of what you're going to get when you get the air raid ebook we have a really really good gun cluster breakdown 
um, in the text message membership. But overall, guys, the text message membership, in my opinion, is the single best way that you can take your game to the next level overnight in Madden NFL 21. So I want to thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, make sure to shoot me a text. Let me know what's up. Our next video is going to be live at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And then we'll have another video at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And then we'll be live on YouTube streaming uh, and answering Madden questions at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So thanks for your time, and we'll see you tonight.